Hey guys, Infernal here, and welcome back to Attack of the B Team, episode 2. And as you can see behind me, I've done a little bit of tidying up there. Yeah, so I've built all the things, I've made my patterns, put them all in the pattern chest, I've made my first, first basic stone pick, uh, found some iron, built a little mine at the back, found some iron, so made some other picks, and then hung all my tools nicely on the drying rack so I can see where they are, a bit of extra storage there, <clears throat> growing some of the food, got the raspberries growing, gather that. Tomatoes are growing, strawberries, wheat. This place still looks a bit untidy. Today we are going to pop out and get some gravel, some clay and some sand so we can make some grout and then using the grout we are going to build the smeltery because we can turn the grout into seared bricks and that's what we need to build the smeltery, that and some glass. So I'm going to pop out get some of that and I will meet you right back here. See you in a moment. Well, back safe and sound. Uh, gather some stuff. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do while we're here, actually. We'll uh, chop down those trees while I talk. So, uh, gather a load of stuff together. Um, we're going to now turn it into grout. And we're going to make ourselves some seared bricks. Then we're going to use those to hopefully build the smeltery and then the smeltery we'll use to smelt the uh, our steel ingots and then we can use that to make some uh, steel tools I think we do need to make how uh, was it cast casts so we can make the tools so we're gonna to have to uh, I think they were made from aluminium and bronze so at some point we're going to have to find both of those as well I have no idea where they are but let's start with what we know how to do which is make the grout so we pop all that in, pop that in I don't want to have to go off and look for more stuff Grout, can I make another one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't have gravel. I don't want sand mixture. I don't even know what sand mixture is for. So, what have we got? Well, that's that's going to be pretty good. That's that's a lot, isn't it? That's got to be enough. Put one in there. And there. And there. And there. We need a load more charcoal as well. <laughs> more than enough charcoal. So I need what I need eight for each furnace. So that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Okay, so that's going to give us game. Not doing the maths, but it's going to give us a fair few. Fair few rare seared bricks. Put that back in there. What's that grout? We can go back in there. Ah, I suppose it's just a case of waiting. Hey, there they are. Oh, go on, let's, let's. Let's make one now. Wee! Our first seared brick. <laughs> and we've got another book to read. Oh, I might as well have a quick look at that. Let's have a look. Introduction. Uh, okay. How to alloys and metal to mix in precise problem kind of size. Aluminium brass. That's what I need. Three aluminium and copper. So we're going to have to go out there and get ourselves some aluminium and some copper, so we can make the casts, so we can make steel picks and weapons. That would be a reasonable level to start at. Seared brick, yeah we. That's a smeltery controller, smeltery drain. Seared tank, we need glass. Um, okay, but I, I didn't use all my sand, did I? No, I had plenty of sand, that's all right. So we can make glass. Oh, that would have been frustrating. We can make all of this stuff nice and easily. But 
don't even know what brownstone is. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Almost clicked on the close the window then instead of close the book escape. So let's give it a moment. Get some of that building. I'll be back with you shortly. Okie dokie, they're kind of almost smelted. All just finishing off now, apart from the glass. Built an extra couple of furnaces for that. So let's dig all this out. Mmm, bit of XP, lovely. Nom nom. Okay, now let's have a look at our book. So, mm, how do we make a seared, seared bricks? No problem. Smeltery drain, seared tank, glass in the middle. Okay, so we need, we need a controller, smeltery controller. Tank glass in there. Then we need the bricks. So three by three base. Let me build mine here. After going to look at all for all that gravel, I hollowed out this, and most of this was gravel in here anyway. Could have saved me a bit of time. Uh, let me just build. I should have sunk it into the floor. Oh well. And then it's five. Don't think you need. Don't think you need the corners. So that should do. Pop them around like that. Get rid of the dirt. Smell three controller. Um, another block. And the drain. Now that should light up now if we've done it right. Yes! Okay, okay, that's good. So that's. Right, I don't know what we've got to put in there. But it's a start. We're getting somewhere. We have the beginnings of a smeltery. Now we just need to work out what on earth to do with it. Let's see well, what's this. So I'm going to require a bit more reading. So I will be back shortly once I've read a little bit more. <laughs> okay, read a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> remembered that I needed lava. Luckily, while I was off to get in the clay, I, I saw some, so I made myself some buckets. Been down the, been down the little mine again. Mined out a bit more at the bottom there. Made some buckets got the lava filled this thing up now we're gonna to have to go off and get some resources so I've got a few picks and things ready some food some torches we are gonna be heading off out there to see what we can find and then have a little play around I want to get this done quite quickly really to be honest it's not that much fun to watch but we want to start building things and getting interesting so I'm going to go and see what I can find. I will see you shortly. I've just found this ravine pretty close to my base as well. And this definitely counts as finding something. I can see lots of stuff down there. Green as well. That looks like emerald maybe. We are definitely going to go down there and have a little bit of an explore. Didn't bring a shovel. Did bring picks though, so let's get down into this ravine and see what we can find. I thought it was going to take ages to find resources, but they there just seems to be huge amounts. I mean, if, if it's this easy to find, I feel a lot better. Coal and stuff to get on the way. Oh, ow, oops, a bit silly. Always look where you're going. So, we got redstone, more iron, aluminium. Perfect. Can we grab that? More aluminium. Definitely what we want. Tin. Copper. I think we needed copper. Should have taken out that waterfall while I was up there. This is silver. Can I mine silver with iron? 
Yes. Good test actually. Can we mine tin with iron? Yep. Oh, so we got red deck green up there. Copper, grab the copper. It's copper that I needed, isn't it? Oh, I'm just going to grab a load of stuff so it doesn't matter. I think we'll act emerald. No, quantum ore. Ooh. Well, I'll grab some of that. Don't know what it is, but it looks pretty. That's what we like. Hey, I like the little particles inside it. Quantum dust. Okay, what's that? Tin, seen tin. That looks like diamond. Having that. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So much stuff. What are these? Static mites? Can I pick them up as well? <laughs> yeah. Can I put them down? Use some deck it. Not on the wall. Can't put them on the floor. Okay, we'll take one of them with us. Might as well. P peridot. Possibly French, maybe peridot. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. Um, anything else we've not seen before? Blue stuff. Possibly lapis, but who knows? More gravel. That could come in handy. What's this? More quantum ore. Tin. So we seem to be able to mine everything. Just just with our standard iron pickaxe, I don't know if we actually need to make any of the steel swords, we've got lapis, grab a little bit of that, yum yum yum, what have we got over here, <laughs> more diamonds, I'm taking it, I don't know if diamonds are obviously not worth as much in, in Attack of the B team maybe, but I'm certainly having them, that is a force of habit, if, if I see diamonds, I must take them. Unless they belong to someone else, obviously. Then I, then I leave them. Okay, what are we up here? Lead. Marble. Ooh, I like the sound of marble. Oh. Marble cobblestone. It turns out it's rather soft. Let's get a little bit of that. I'm taking that silver. I'm taking that lead. And that. And that. Pop a torch down here. Okay, well, mining all this out is going to take a while. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure if it, yeah, maybe just should do it off camera to be honest. I don't even know which of this stuff we need. We are just gathering whatever is here. Veins seem huge. I was a little bit worried when I saw some of the people building things and saying how many resources it took but I'm not so worried now when I've seen how common this stuff is I, mean, I didn't go far from my base at all and this this ravine is just stocked full of it I don't know if that's just me being lucky or if this is a common thing I'm really hoping it's a common thing Whew, that mines quickly Grab more of that. oh that's aluminium, wonderful wasn't even looking just grabbing everything. Tin, so we need tin, but I'm sure we're going to use it later. I'll tell you what, there's no point watching this. So I am going to do all this off camera, get back. I still haven't got any armor. I don't think I can make tin armor. Um, so get back before it gets dark, if I've got time now. Uh, which, I, which I haven't because it is dark. That happened quickly. And a cow has thrown itself to its death. Well, that gives me a piece of raw beef, which is nice. So let's grab a load of stuff. Meet you back at the base once we've got a bit. Have a quick look, see what we've got. Loads of weird stuff. So if I get the book, Mighty Smelting, I think it was. That put a little stab of might in the corner. <laughs> uh, right, Mighty Smelting, Alloys, Aluminium Brass is made from three aluminium and one copper. So I suppose I, what do I have? 
casting table. Right, so I think I've put three aluminium. One, two, three. Put that in there. And one copper. One. I guess I just. Do I wait? Is it smelting now? Yeah, that seems to be smelting. Oh, uh, so to I need to make a cast to make. A, oh, don't forget to eat. To make a cast, I need the part. So let's make a part out of stone. So we might as well start with. Yeah, we'll start with a pick. So what do we need? We use that. Tall part building. Part. Okay, so pop in the pickaxe head. Stick in a piece of stone. Oh, it's stone, isn't it? Not cobble. Forgot that last time as well. So pickaxe head goes in there. Piece of cobble goes in there. That gives us the stone pickaxe head. That goes back in the chest. Then that should sit on top of there. Lovely. And this is. I know this is horrible. I'm gonna have to tidy this up. I don't, I don't like the way it looks at all at the moment. And then I turn the look in here. So we've got six. Oh, six. Oh, it's times two for each one. Well, hopefully that will still work. Is this being used? Yeah, I think that's being used. I don't like the idea of constantly having to top that up. So. I've got copper ore going in, can then that fill up. And then I suppose we just turn the tap on, I And then hope it pours over the top. Uh, right. Aluminium brass. Lovely. Excellent. So it's sort of automatically done it for us. Turn the tap on. Ha ha. Oh, can't pick it up. Yes. Okay, we've got a pickaxe head cast so material cost one so we can put the cast on the casting oh yeah but this is now filled with aluminium brass so let's take that out of there and I think what we'll do then is we'll call that now for an episode we've discovered how to make the casts so I am going to make myself can I take off today I'm going to make myself a load more casts, use up that, get some uh, steel in there, and we'll make some steel Tinker's Construct tools and some weapons. Uh, I'm definitely going to be popping back to that ravine, but I'll do that off camera. We'll do some bit more interesting stuff on camera next time. And we're going to make ourselves some things. So we say bye bye, bye bye to stone. Don't need stone anymore. Do we have anything there? Mm, we'll have them. Right, and we'll, I think we'll make this look nicer as well. We could do with a bit of nicifying. I don't know if that's even a word, but I'm I'm using it. We shall nicify the place. And we shall do the uh do a load of resource hunting off camera. And get ready for next episode. And we will start thinking about building a scraper so we can uh, start collecting things because I really want to be able to fly. Running across that stuff is annoying and if I can fly I can get away from any mobs as well. So we need some genetics going on and that looks even scarier than the smelting. So I'm going to call that now. I think we'll call that a day. and. I will do a bit more reading, uh, gather some resources, I shall uh, make this place look a little bit nicer still, raspberries, make this place look a bit nicer, and I'll see you next time, take care, bye.